Hi, it's Mark from Training Spark here with another quick Learn Dash tip. And in this video, we're going to show you how you can tailor your course content to specific learners. So what you might have is a course, lesson or topic, and you might want to say on this page, I want to show a te some text or an image or something like that, but you only want it to show for certain learners. And obviously you've got the option to clone the entire course and create a version of the course for that set of learners. but what you end up is a bit of a housekeeping issue where you've got lots of different variations of certain courses and it can get quite messy over time. We're going to show you a way here that you can do that using a plugin called Organization Toolkit, which is one of our plugins. And it's a premium plugin. And one of the features that we're going to show you here is this one here called Tailor Content for Your Clients. This says add bespoke content into your courses for your client without having to duplicate an entire course. So let's have a look at that in action. So once you install the organization toolkit plugin, you will have a concept of organizations within your LearnDash platform. And these are tend to be the companies or charities or groups of people that you work with. So you would create one of these for anyone you sell your training to perhaps. Uh, and, and these are example companies that I've got set up in this sandbox environment here. So I've got a company called EcoWater and a company called HomeTech. And what we want to do is say EcoWater might have something on one of the pages and HomeTech might have something else on, on the, the same page. And depending on wh who that learner is, or which company that learner is from, they would see something different. So if we just quickly switch back to that page, I want a page here called Drinking Fluids for Healthy Day. And what I might want to say is, I want the members of EcoWater to have a line here saying where their company's vending machines are and say they're on the second floor. So let's have a look at how we would do that. So I'm going to head back to my admin account, head to the course, which is this healthy eating, healthy life. And we'll head to the page, drinking fluids for a healthy day. And what we want to do is add a line in here for the users, of, for the learners within the eco water group. Now, if you head back within the dashboard here to organization toolkit and then organizations, what we want to do is show some content specific to this eco water group. So what we will do is firstly click into it, scroll right to the bottom and we have this option here called display custom content for this organization. And it says use the following short code, code to display content to the members of this organization. Users outside of this organization will not see any content within this short code. This is a short code, and if you're not familiar, this is a concept that you have quite a lot in WordPress, where you have these bracketed items here that allow you to carry out certain functionality within your pages or posts or content. What we can do here is copy that to the clipboard, and what that's done is copied this short code to the clipboard so that when we head to our page and edit it, we can simply go to add new within the Gutenberg editor, search for short code, and we will paste that into there. And what we're saying here is that some content here is only available to the learners in the EcoWater organization. So we can edit this and say what we wanted it to say there, which was that our company vending machines at EcoWater uh, on floor three and we'll just click update there and now we have a line of text within this learn dash lesson that would only ever appear to members of the eco water group so if i switch back to a member of this eco water group so i've got a test test user here who is logged in and they are a member of this eco water organization I'm just going to refresh the page here and we can see that we have our line of text. Our company vending machines are on e EcoWater are on floor three. 
And just to show how that would appear for anyone else, I'm going to log out of this learner's account and then log in as a different user from a different organization. So we're now logged in as a member of the home tech organization and we head to the course again, head to the drinking fluids for a healthy day and they don't see that line. That is now completely invisible to this set of users. But likewise, if we wanted to add something different for the home tech group, I could do that. So I'm just going to head back to my admin area here and go back to my organization toolkit organizations here. I want to add something specific to the home tech group here and say edit, scroll down and find the short code for this organization. So we've got one here that says some content that is only available to learners within the home tech organization. Again, I'm going to copy that to the clipboard where I'm editing the lesson, what I will do is add another short code here and paste in the short code for the home tech group and say something else like our company vending machines at home tech are on floors one and four. So this is very specific information that we're adding that is only really relevant to the people of the home tech organization. I'll switch back to that page for the learner within the home tech organization and scroll down. And we can see here that we've got our information saying that our company vending machines at home tech are on floors one and four. So what we've done there is without having to clone entire courses or lessons or anything like that is added some shortcuts that really tailor bits of content specific to learners on our platform. We hope you find this useful. If you did, please give this video a like. And if you like, if you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to the Training Spark YouTube channel.